What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. For those who are new, my name is Ace Noguera and in this channel we cover a wide range of photo and video topics. So if that is something you are interested in, consider subscribing as we also come out with fresh content for you every single week. So with that said, in today's topic we are going to be talking about how to photograph makeup and get the best results possible, just like this photo of Jamila Jamil. Now, right off the bat, one of the first things you probably noticed is her lip color. That is because it is quite bold and it's very bright and out there. This is something that I usually recommend people do as far as being a little bit bolder with the makeup, especially if you are shooting with artificial light. What I mean by artificial light too is if you're shooting with flashes and strobes, things like that, because for some reason it tends to kind of wash out the colors a little bit. So with having kind of uh, bolder makeup, it kind of offsets that. So you still be able to retain a lot of detail in the makeup and it'll still show up in your photos. So keep that in mind if you are shooting with artificial light. And on the flip side, if you are shooting natural light, just keep in mind that that will give you a little bit more texture and um, warmth in the skin tones. So you may not need to be as heavy with the makeup or as bold. Now the next tip is so important and that is not to use a cakey or very heavy full coverage of foundation for the face. This could look good in certain instances, but however, it usually doesn't photograph well, especially when using artificial light. That's gonna really accentuate the full coverage on the face. You're gonna lose a ton of detail, a ton of color, and you are going to ultimately very well see that caked look. And that's not something you particularly want in a natural looking portrait. So guys, keep that in mind. If you have a makeup artist, tell them to keep a light natural look and that'll make sure that they don't pile on a bunch of makeup. Now, as it gets pretty much hot everywhere you go, if you are shooting on location, it is very important to have either makeup powder or paper towels with you because when you're out shooting, I mean, the model's gonna get hot, they're gonna start sweating, so it makes it very, very important for you to have one of these two things. And the reason is, with the paper towels, you can slightly dab and it won't ruin the makeup, but it'll get rid of that shine that's caused by the, the sweat. And on the flip side, if you do have powder, that also kind of does the same thing, only it works a little bit better. You can powder the face in those slightly shiny areas to kind of make it a little bit more dull. This is especially useful if you are using artificial light because you're gonna get a boost of light coming directly on that model's face and those spots that are sweaty are gonna be very, very glossy and give you really hot spots that you're not gonna really be able to fix in post. So it's very important to kind of keep that in mind. Make sure when you are photographing the model, you are looking at the face, making sure that there's not gonna be a bunch of sweat or drips of sweat, because that can also ruin a photo or just make it a little bit harder to edit and post. And it'll take a little bit more time as well. So make sure before you grab the shot to just go ahead and kind of scan the model real quick and pay attention to those things before snapping the shot. Now another tip is if your shoot calls for something along the lines of more editorial or high fashion looking, one thing you could do to kind of get you that next level is to put on eyelashes on your model. And this will basically make it a little more full for the eyelashes and give you a much bolder look. This will help you in your images because generally when you're shooting that type of work, you are gonna be a little bit closer to your model, grabbing tighter shots, maybe even just from the shoulders above. So a lot of your uh, focus is going to be around the eyes and this will help really make them stand out and be a little bit bolder. Well guys, that is gonna wrap up this video. If you did find it useful, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. It really does help us continue to grow and provide more content like this for you. If there is a particular topic or subject you'd like us to go over, go ahead and leave it down in the comments and we will consider it. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.